for this challenge, we are going to expect you to demonstrate the technique of pleading. Gather around children <laughs> for the demonstration. And if you're at home, this is where you take out your pencil and paper and take notes. We're gonna talk a little bit about pleading today and I'm gonna show you one of my versions of pleading. Although pleading actually comes from the ancient Japanese form of gift wrapping called sutsumi. And don't sue me if I mispronounce that because I don't speak Japanese. If there's an even number of pleats, it usually denotes a somber event, like um, someone's retiring or moving away, it's a going away party. And if there's an odd number of pleats, it means a joyous event like I don't know a graduation or a, a new baby so what I'm gonna show you today is the tuxedo wrap and so you see I've already wrapped my basic box and then I'm gonna add a white tuxedo pleat across the front of this now you always start out by doing one fold and that's kind of your edge because we're gonna do seven folds so that's one two three four five six and seven I'm gonna turn it over and unfurl that and you'll see the little ridges that we've created there and then you're just gonna pinch and pull now when you've got that look you turn it over and tape the back of it and then you have what's basically your your tuxedo pleat I like to embellish with like some little shirt studs right so I'm just gonna line some of these up down the middle Everything needs a little sparkle, but just a little. And then again, putting the present in presentation, I'm gonna actually use a real bow tie. And then basically you have the tuxedo wrap. And a little kind of a, a partner wrap to that is of course the purse wrap. So I've got my tuxedo, I've got my purse, I'm going shopping, see you later.